What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today we're going to be playing the scariest game of the Halloween season. And I'm not talking about the latest AAA title. No, no. I'm talking about Think of the Children, a truly terrifying look into parenting. Not really, it's just a funny uh, one-off game where you play with a couple of your mates a game that is going to be both hair-pulling and laughter-inducing. It is a lot of fun to play and quite challenging to boot. So if you are interested in good couch co-op or even a single-player challenging game, you may be interested in Think of the Children. So, let's jump in and take a look really quick. There's quite a few options on display here, which I'm thrilled to see. If you're a streamer, there's Mixer and Twitch right there that gives you some options. Um, underneath of our graphic options, there's a few different things you can mess around with. And under gameplay, there is, this is kind of neat here, this child select screen lets you tweak which children are going to be running around. It sounds a little creepy. You're going to see that a lot in this game, a lot of the phraseology that will be used, no matter how much I try to not make it creepy, it still comes across as creepy. And this is coming from a guy who has five kids of his own. It's still just, a lot of this stuff is going to be worded <laughs> in manners I wish it wasn't. So, you go to My Family, and you can then tweak the adults and children. Um, so you can create your own new character. And I just unlocked this little disaster. <laughs> yes, that's right. We can now play as Pennywise, the Dancing Clown. Let's see here. Hi. Come here. Hey. Come here. Yep, we're going to give him that voice. Skin color doesn't really seem to matter much because Pennywise is all painted up. You can do the same thing for your children, too. You can create your own creepy monster children. In fact, let's, let's make a little alien child here, shall we, with green shirt and green pants, skin. Oh, I can't do green skin. I wanted to go like full-blown little alien kid. Oh, well. Can we do like really, really light skin? Like, yeah, we'll just go with that. There we go. Okay, so uh, wardrobe, there's lots of different things you can unlock. You can see there, um, I've unlocked some items already. And then as you unlock them, they become available for your customization. Very cool. So it, there's some longevity added to the game just in that, that there's things you can continue to strive to unlock, and that's always nice to see. Story mode is the same levels you play in party mode. There's just a funny little cutscene in between uh, each stage. So we're going to jump to party mode here, and I'm going to click. I'm playing with a controller. I like to use the mouse for the menus. It's a little easier. And we're going to go with Pennywise, the dancy, well, Sean, the dancing clown, it appears. Okay, so we got, we got Sean there. And then we have our little menagerie of small monsters, I mean children. And yeah, that's it, we're ready. So the game is, uh, it's a lot of fun. It is very challenging if you're playing. This was really a game that, in my opinion, is meant to be for uh, at least two or more players. Um, you can play it single player, and it becomes almost more of like a strategy challenge game and less of a laugh out loud funny game. I mean, there's still funny moments. So I'll show you the park level first, that's the easiest. Devs, if you're listening, it'd be great uh, to be able to turn off um, how many children are present in single player. You may not be able to unlock the rewards, but maybe even just to earn progressive the next levels. So I'm going to start off here. I'm going to call the kids. I can call the kids to me. So that's going to, just for a moment there, keep them out of trouble. Let me grab this pinata. Uh-oh. 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 I may have already messed it up. Did I mess it up? Nope, they're all still safe. The pinata, when you hang it up, draws all the kids. So I use that as a means to... We'll be done with the pinata here in a second. Go, 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 go. One thing also, devs, it'd be great to see like a stamina meter. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I got kids. No, 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 she's gonna drown. Oh, you're in the street. Get out of the street. Get out of the street. I can attest to the fact, as a parent, oh no. No, no, I'm gonna lose a kid there to the child services. No! Get out of the street. Get out of the street, get out of the street. 
Sorry guys, <laughs> my dialogue for this sucks. It takes so much thought to not let your freaking kids get totally destroyed by all of the different... Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. So I <laughs> managed to save all the kids and uh, I, I got most of my objectives done. I flipped a lot of burgers, I laid some tables, I rescued children and one pinata deployed. So you can speed this part up. Um, I've played this now for a few hours, and I want to tell you right now, um, oh, we got the, oh, okay, it's just, I get a gift box head. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots of different unlocks too for your characters for customization, which is cool, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so uh, we'll move on to the next stage. This game, when you're playing single player, and I can, I get again, I can say this as a parent, it actually simulates what it feels like to take your kids somewhere. <laughs> or if you're helping somebody else watch their kids. Or if you're taking like five dogs to the park. Or six dogs in this case. I mean, it's the same thing. Trying to keep them all from going crazy. It's just a lot of fun. And if you're playing with another person, it's even more fun. Because you're sitting there like, quick, get him out of the pool. I'll try to get the kid out of the street, you know. Alright, so first thing first. Call the kids to myself. Gives you just a second there where they stay out of trouble. Yeah, I'd love to see a stamina bar. Man, this kid's already playing with the jellyfish. All right, call an ice cream. There we go. I'll take a moment here and try to deploy. The ice cream will keep him busy for just a few moments. This guy's on fire over here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me deploy these. The kids are already done. No, 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 no. Come here. Get away from my sandcastle. Get away from my sandcastle. Get out of there. No, don't play with the birds. This guy's on fire again. Get away from the jellyfish. Are you playing with that bird again? This guy's gonna get hit by a boat. No, 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 no. Oh, I lost a kid to a freaking speedboat. Get out of the water. You just messed up my sandcastle, you little jerk. Redo the sandcastle now. 21 seconds left. This kid freaking loves the seagulls. Ah, I'm gonna lose a bunch of kids. It's about to get bad. It's about to get really bad. Get out of there. Stop drowning. It's bad for your health. Oh, this guy's on fire again. Seriously? Did I lose another kid? I lost another kid to a speedboat. I just lost another kid to a... I don't even know. I think he fell headfirst into the sand. <laughs> I did terrible. I did absolutely terrible. And the kids are randomized. And what I mean is, you could have a round where it just seems like the kids are kind of onesie twosies getting themselves into life-threatening danger. And by the time you save them, maybe another kid is. And other other games, it's just like, no, they all go for broke at once. They're all like just on suicide watch immediately. And they all just go for it. And if you're playing as a single player, just be prepared for the fact that there's some matches that are going to be like that where... It's going to be hard for you to be in all the places you need to be at once. I got an E. That was terrible. That was so bad. Look at that. It looks like a freaking mug shot with a clown on there. Oh, boy. So this is the grocery store. I'll do one more for you guys. I really love the voxel art style. It's really cool. I love it. The game is fun. It's very creative. It's... <laughs> it's just... It's a laugh. It's a lot of fun. So on this one, I have to get these different items from around the store. Okay, so here we go. Come here. The items, and the items look like they're actually randomized. Because the last time I played it... Get away from there. Get away from there. Hey. See, and this is where it's hard to play at single player. I mean, by the time I make my way around the store... They're already into trouble again. And meanwhile, I'm supposed to be... This kid is, is eating or drinking bleach. It's like powdered Clorox. Oh my goodness, that kid's in the freezer. Yeah, for single player, at the very least, they should have it where you are permanently allowed to sprint. At the very least. Stop making a mess. This kid, These kids are over here feeding each other bleach. Oh my goodness. And I hate to say it, but as frustrating as it is to play this game, 
I mean, that's kind of what it's like in, in real life. You try to take your... Get away from there, you little... You try to take your kids to the store in real life to get anything done, and you are just going to be met with so much frustration. Uh... Did I get it? Is he not grabbing the item? There we go. This kid's over here eating more bleach! Did you not see... And he's dead. Did you not see what happened to your friend? My embarrassment points are like through the roof. Get out of the freezer! <laughs> I'm not even gonna get the list of items before they just shut me down. Did I not pick it up? This one is probably my least favorite so far, just because it's hard sometimes to grab the different items. This kid's tossing a knife around. What are you doing over here? You're stealing candy. You little jerk. My embarrassment meter's like all the way up. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> Playing with somebody else would be so much easier. One person could wrangle kids. The other one could grab items. Um... It's a lot of fun, guys. If, if this looks like the kind of game you would enjoy, if you're looking for a couch co-op game that you can just laugh at and have a good time, or if you're looking for a game that single player is challenging and you will pull your hair out sometimes, I had a full head of hair when I started playing this game. <laughs> it's just fun. It's a good time. Devs, good job. Um, I think it's like $8 and some change right now in its initial release on Steam. And uh, I, I think it's very much worth it. This is the kind of game where I can see, especially if you've got like a computer hooked up to a TV in your living room or something like that, it's one that you could throw on when you have some friends over and just sit there and chat and and just play it while you're, you're talking or hanging out. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say. If this looks like fun to you, I'd say that you're going to enjoy it. If it looks like something where you're like, no, man, this looks like an absolute total just pain in the butt frustration to play, then you probably won't enjoy it. Um... In all honesty, it's a mixture of both. So, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you want to see me play more of this, let me know in the comments section below. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on, everyone!